Here's a little unexpected plus on today's Golden Canyon adventure. Um, we're going to park here, yeah, just on the main highway. Here's the beast. And just north of Furnace Creek. And there's actually a river down here, in the middle of Death Valley. And uh, and sort of a pond where the water has collected. So let's go down there and just take a look at it. There's something about finding water in Death Valley, one of the lowest, hottest places on Earth. And you can actually see the change in uh, plant life. We're at the very bottom of an alluvial fan, which is all the debris that's washed down out of the mountains during flash floods predominantly. Looking south toward Furnace Creek now. Mustard Canyon area beyond where we're looking at. And you'd think that you could walk through that salt flat area. However, the further down you get, the soggier the ground gets. And pretty soon, you're going to start sinking in. So let's just see how far we can get. If we can get right down to the edge, I see a little river down there. If we can, great. Then we'll be down at the salt flat. Looks like a, a vehicle took this little route at one time. See the dual tire tracks, or maybe it's just the action of water. I believe we're looking at pickleweed which you'd find at Salt Creek. And you gotta realize that um, this is very salty ground. Um, some of the area here is many times saltier than the ocean. So, you know, what plants are gonna be able to survive in salt? It's almost like salt water plants. Now you can see water streaming. So I just realized we are in the hottest, driest area of the planet, one of the hottest, driest areas. And we're looking at flowing water and lush vegetation that apparently thrives in salt. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, let's see how far we can get before we start sinking. We're already trying to avoid the soggy areas where you go down. Believe me, there are a number of them. Yeah, 
these would classify as salt plains. desert and look at how the um, salt has just pushed up through the ground look at the patterns that it makes that's pretty amazing and all this action is is the salt just um, pushing up through the floor of the desert Well, so far we haven't sunk in. Salt flats all around us. does to wood and these might be mesquite branches that have been washed down into this area. This is much more salty than the ocean. Twenty wood that ends up drifting in the midst of this alkali desert is soon going to be dissolved. Into the salt. Another little stream here. example of this go to Devil's Golf Course. Oops, we're starting to slide a little bit. More patterns etched in the desert through the world of salt and water and sand. Well, if you're 
river out here in the middle of the desert, wondering where the firmest ground is to walk on. It tends to be the wider ground. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure this will be really valuable life learning. But anyway, for what it's worth, stay on the white. Stay off of the darker area. You will start sliding and sinking. Look at these patterns. Oops, we're sliding and sinking even now. Just want to get out to this lake here in the middle of Death Valley before we go under. Well, I think we're getting near the end of where one can walk here. See this pond ahead of us? Well, it actually looks like a shallow lake. We'll see how close we can get before the ground becomes unstable. Well, I guarantee if I sunk into this, I would eventually be mummified. They wouldn't find me for centuries. And here we are. Right at the edge. Or what should we call this? Death Valley Lake? Look at this. Yeah, this is about as far as we are going to go without becoming a permanent fixture on the floor of Death Valley. have it. There is water. A lot of water in the middle of the lowest, one of the lowest, hottest places on earth, Death Valley. A little more streams in the desert. Pretty clear demarcation line here where the salt flat ends and the salt grass and pickle weed and whatever their names are. If you're a botanist, you probably have a better idea about where that begins. Very clear demarcation line. Let's just check this out a closer look at this vegetation here that's living in an environment likely as much as six times saltier than the ocean. And these plants are able to survive in this environment. Lumps of grass. And then we'll see if we can find some of those plants that I believe are pickleweed because they have a link of pickles, but they Every, every plant has its zone 
where it can survive. So the grass is at this level. Let's see if we can see some different plants. See, there's some green there. A little clump of that pickle weed. I'm not 100% sure it's actually pickle weed, but I would bet that that's what this is. Here's a little more. Okay, we're going to call it a day here. But totally amazing. plants that you see, different plant zones, more pickleweed. Okay, that's the story of Death Valley Lake and water in the desert. There you have it.